Lesson C3, KPI creation in detail. Topic eight, live drawings and KPIs from the data model. The learning objectives for this topic are to understand how to use the data model to provide content to a KPI and to go through a worked example of how to make a live drawing. So here I've got an empty KPI. And this time, instead of using the grid format of the KPI, I'm going to add a background image. So to do this, I'm going to go and add an attachment to the page. I can either do this by searching through my files and folders, or I can drag an image onto the box here. I've got one I made earlier called separation tanks. So that's done, it's added. So now when I come back to my KPI and I go to global settings, I'm now going to uncheck use grid and I'm going to select from the attachments to the current page, the separation tanks drawing that I've uploaded here. Okay. So now I have my blank background image and just so I don't lose that, I'm going to save it. Now I go to edit it and now I don't need to add rows and columns anymore. I can just click add to add something, add a new KPI and I can freely place it anywhere on the screen. So I'm going to configure this and instead of data tag now, I'm going to select asset. And then I'm going to search the data model for the asset tag. Now I'm going to pick one of the separators. I'll pick the HP separator. And then we get the title here, pulls it in from the data model, defaults it to center. And I think I'm going to make the text size a bit bigger. I'll maybe make it 24. So it's really easy to see. Then I'm going to save it. Now I can place that then here on my drawing. And when I take it out of edit mode now, if I click this KPI, I get the common menu. And this gives us access to all the information we know in the data model about that object. Now I've made that quite large and black. One quite cunning thing that you can do is to change the color to either white or transparent and place it over something to make a hot link. So here, if I change the text to white and take it out of edit mode, it becomes invisible. But as I go over it, the hot link is still there. So alternatively, I could change that to translucent. Then I could place it over the middle of the separator. Then and what I've effectively done is create a hotspot over that separator. So when someone hovers and clicks on it, they'll get the information about that separator. Okay, that's an overview and a worked example of how to make a live drawing and create a KPI from the data model.